bite in there. Oh, can't breathe. Last time I take an Uber. Thank you for driving Baymax. On the table today, Disney Big Hero 6, the series, Squish to Fit, Baymax. I have been quietly looking over the new Big Hero 6 line from Bandai. Most of the figures looking pretty nice, a little bit larger than what we saw from the previous series. But I wasn't quite sure where to jump in. But then when this squishy, squeezable Baymax appeared on the shelf, I just had to test it out. Luckily, you can even give it a try on shelf. We have a squeeze me window right up front. This set features several things to keep us interested today. Let's turn that box around. On the back of the box, squeeze! Squeeze Baymax into two different suits. Looks like we have our classic red and purple armored suit. Are there wings involved? I don't see them yet. And we have our black, is it stealth suit? I have not had a chance to check out the new series yet. And to top off the selling point of this set, we can squish Baymax into Wasabi's car. That right there makes the toy. Also, what is with this mildly enthused fellow? I almost wonder if they edited the toy into that photo. He is giving Baymax a squeeze, but he doesn't seem to be all there. Okay, let's remove all this stuff from package. It looks like if you're careful, you might be able to reuse. And Baymax, outside of the box, yeah, probably not going to stand. Let's use this Minecraft tripod. There we go. So how squishy is Baymax? Pretty squishy. It feels kind of uh, like a stretchy fabric material on the outside, and then maybe a beanie bag jelly-like possible uh, inside. Maybe more on the beanie bag side but you can see, you can give him some stretch and squeeze. This is absolutely the most perfect form of Baymax I've seen, except for maybe just a little bit too small, but this works so much better than the usual heavy plastic action figure. Some good inside the bag thinking from Bandai. Just be careful not to breathe in too much of Baymax. He almost smells a little toxic, but I'm sure it's safe. We have lots of tagging to prove that. Oops, sorry. So let's pick his normal suit and build him up. I'm a little bit bummed out. For some reason I thought we would be squeezing Baymax through the neck hole on the armor, even though that would be entirely ridiculous. That's a pretty small neck hole and that's not really how it goes. What we have as usual from Bandai, we have a very intricate series of instructions to work through. And we are going to take apart the armor so then we can fit Baymax inside. So let's do that. The helmet is already removed. Now we'll just remove the torso piece. And the legs piece to squeeze in. I'm a little bit weary on some of the posts breaking off into some of the holes of the armor, but I think they're going to be thick enough, so just be careful when removing the shells together. You want to pull everything nice and straight out and not try to break any tabs. So now we're going to lay Baymax down into the suit. Ugh. I don't know, he's starting to look pretty big to fit in there. Our first task is to squeeze him in there and place down the chest and arms piece. You'll kind of want to position his arms to loop around these uh, armpits. Hopefully they'll clear everything when we place down the arms. Maybe squish in his belly as you're doing it. 
Oh, that turned out to be really easy. I'm surprised. All right, now we're gonna work on his legs a little bit, although I'm a little worried about this tag. I'm gonna try to tuck it under his back backside there. Okay, so now we'll work on the legs. And again, he's very wide. He kind of squeezes his belly in a little bit. Perfect, we've got it. And look at there, I love it. This is just like you would expect loading Baymax into a giant suit would be about. Okay, so maybe position it, kind of squeeze him around, try to get everything away from the holes. This tag is giving me some trouble. In fact, I think I got it stuck under something. There we go. Okay, now let's enter in the stomach piece. Pop that into place. And now we can place on his helmet. I love it. His head is still that soft, squishy material, too. And we'll place on top. A little bit tight. Kind of hard to get his eyes where you would like to see them looking out. I think we've got him, though. We've done our first Baymax squeeze into a suit. Looking pretty good. I guess our only drawback to the toy would be no articulation. Because the way the shells of the armor fit together, there is no room for rotation in the shoulders or even the arms or elbows, legs. He has one stiff suit. You can still fly him around, I suppose. Although he doesn't have his wings. But anyway, you can fly him around. But you won't be able to do much movement battle with him. That's kind of a drawback. I wish they could have at least got a little articulation in the shoulders. But I'm sure that would complicate the build and make it even harder to squeeze him inside there. And since we're getting other suits and things to squeeze him in, I think that's a pretty good compromise. Well, let's remove and try to get him into the next suit. At first I was thinking stealth suit, but this is looking more like a space or underwater suit. Let me know in the comments what this suit is all about. Alright, let's open up and squeeze him in. So it looks like this suit is just three pieces. The uh, torso stomach is stuck together. And now we will place Baymax inside. This time I'm going to try to really squeeze that tag around his back end there. That way I don't have to have it in the way as always. So lay him down inside. This time the instructions indicates works with the pants first. So kind of squeeze in that torso a little bit, squeeze in those legs. Usually the first piece fits pretty good. Now we're going to go with the arms and chest piece. Looks like make sure his hands loop around again. And we've done it. Pretty simple. I thought this would be a little more of a challenge squeezing him inside. Uh, luckily they made him just the right size to fit. We've got him inside now. Now we've got the helmet to work with. And I think there's a little notch and a tab in the back slot for you to fit, <laughs> fit him in. That looks great inside the dome. That is so silly. What a look for Baymax. Looks like we have some movement on these back here. You can... This has got to be a water suit. I'm thinking little fan thrusters or something. Gotta check out the new show soon. So many shows to check on. I've been working on Ben 10 a lot recently. I like that suit quite a bit. That looks really cool. And again, that's one of the things that really quickly drew me to this toy, was two suits and the car. Most of the time when something like this is produced, they just have one suit and the squeezable Baymax, and that's about it. So there's plenty of things to keep you busy here. Well, let's try out the car now. I can't calm down about how squishy this guy is. All right, bringing out Wasabi's car. 
This is a very nice Wasabi's car they've included with this set. Sometimes you feel the toy makers cut some corners when they add things like this in, but it's a really nice looking car piece with good color and paint, with some extra detailing like the roof rack and mirrors. Very nice little vehicle. And it rolls, too. So to squeeze Baymax inside, we're going to open up the roof. Probably why that roof rack is there to help you open it up. And we will then squeeze poor Baymax inside. This might be the most squeezing you'll do. The instructions have you going feet first. We'll try that out. And I think you kind of want to squeeze so that the feet go towards the back and the head kind of goes up front for driving. Awesome! And he has squeezed it inside. And there's actually plenty of room. You might be able to fit another Baymax inside. Actually, I was thinking how cool it would have been if they included miniatures of all the characters and then you were challenged to squeeze the whole team inside. It would have been great. You would have had all the characters' faces stuck against the glass, feet pointing out, all sorts of funny things. But you had to draw the line somewhere with this great toy. And that is Squish to Fit Baymax. What a wonderful diversion this toy was. Being hesitant to recollect action figures, this was something new and different. With not one, but two suits to keep you entertained, to squeeze Baymax inside, and then they throw Wasabi's car in there too. I would say the only drawback would be the articulation of the suits are just solid suits, but I think you can still get a lot of play value out of them by flying them around, crashing them into something. I enjoyed the uniqueness of this toy quite a bit. If you're interested in me reviewing other Big Hero 6 toys for the new series, let me know in the comments. I am not completely sure on it yet. They do look nicer, a little larger, a little more articulation than what we saw in the movie series. It definitely might be worth checking out. Okay, Baymax, what would you like to squeeze in to finish off? Going with classic. All right. Disney Big Hero 6, the series, Squish to Fit Baymax. From Bandai arrives on store shelves, fall 2018, runs approximately 25. If you're a fan of the inflatable, squishable Baymax, this is the toy set for you with two battle suits and Wasabi's car. You've got something for everybody to squish Baymax into side. Unless perhaps you are claustrophobic and do not want to squeeze Baymax into something. For the most part, really interesting, fun set. That's what I have to say about that. Whoops, too much air Baymax. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. And he has squeezed it inside.